Uh, and that's Nigel Farage. Uh, of course, he's in the jungle. And since he's gone, he's found himself at the centre of all the drama. Let's cross live to Australia now, where we're joined by our reporter, Ben Leo. Hi there, Ben. Give us the latest on Nigel. I gather he was very busy last night. Yes, good morning, guys. After what was a very drab Friday night episode, I actually had a go at ITV last night for not featuring Nigel enough. But the TV gods answered our prayers. Uh, Nigel featured in last night's Bush Tucker trial. He had six pints on a Saturday night, but not the kind he was used to, unfortunately. He teamed up with boxer Tony Bellew for uh, the trial, where he downed blended crocodile feet, sheep anus, goat testicle and fermented Duck egg. Like all that practice in the pub has paid off for Nigel, years worth of downing pints in the boozer. He earned 12 stars alongside Tony for his campmates, which meant they had a full house of, uh, of meals last night, including Frankie Dettori, the new campmate. Uh, Dettori, actually, a really interesting story on the front of the Sunday Mirror this morning. He's been insured by ITV for £100 million to compete in the jungle. He apparently earns millions of pounds per races as a jockey. He's a three-time flat champion. Um, so if he injures his finger or his leg, for example, in a Bush Tucker trial, um, he's going to get a massive payout. Uh, on the Sun on Sunday front page, another great story. This one's going to cause fireworks, actually. On Tuesday night in London, ITV boss uh, managing director Kevin Ligo, who was involved in the, uh, the Philip Schofield scandal earlier this year, LIGO made a comment to a packed audience, including Davina McCall, uh, Susanna Reid and Lorraine Kelly, basically saying that uh, Nigel was going to be coming home on a dinghy. And he said that he didn't know sign language, but um, he does know the sign for Nigel Farage. He then commenced to make a lewd one finger gesture on his hand. I think you can probably guess what that is. And it's <coughs> funny, isn't it? You wonder why ITV have paid Nigel a rumoured one and a half million pounds to appear on I'm a Celeb if all they're going to do is take the mick out of him. It follows, obviously, uh, Lorraine Kelly's comments about his body and his face earlier this week, which caused quite a stir. But in terms of Nigel's stint in the jungle, it's one week today that he's been in there. And you've got to say he's been a roaring success. If you remember before he went in, he said he wanted to connect with 10 million new voters and he's had arguments about Brexit and immigration and shown that actually you can discuss these issues without being toxic and tribal. So I'd say a decent first week, two left to go. That's absolutely appalling of Kevin Ligo to say that. Yeah. It really is, isn't it? I think we, we should be outraged. And uh, you don't just have to be, you know, somebody who loves Nigel Farage to know that that's wrong. Ben, thanks very much indeed. Thank you for joining us. Um, but uh, it's outrageous. Yeah. Um... Um, in fact, one of the headlines in one of the newspapers yesterday said, why is it that you can be openly hostile and rude, utterly rude to Nigel Farage, but you can't to anyone else? Or, almost... people, or people that agree with his politics. And I think that is why Nigel's doing so well, because people see themselves in him. You know, that people have had all this stick for years about Brexit and their position. Nigel's taken all the bullets on behalf of the 17.4 million. And I think that's why it's Rosanna's success. Mm. Mm, I think that's really not on, yeah. is it? I totally it's agree. Not on. Yeah. I, hope, I hope, for Kevin Ligo's sake, that Nigel goes all the way, just mm. in that mm. case. And he won't be back on a dinghy. He'll be back on a, a very um, expensive seat well, on an airliner. Hey, can I just say, you know, Nigel, um, necking that pint then, I've uh, seen that close-up in action. That guy's a pro. Well, you mean you've seen him down beer? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, that's I mean, I mean, acceptable, isn't textbook. it? Textbook. Yeah. I mean, that was textbook. Was it? Yeah. That that that. That's the way you'd... Well, you. The only you, you way to, to drink something that. that disgusting is to yeah. not think about it at all, and don't <laughs> let it touch the sides. Just open your throat and just try and get it all down in one go. Yeah. 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 Uh, but oh, poor guy. <laughs> I've got I've got a claim to the... fame. Yeah. Oh. I've got a claim to fame. Yeah. I bought Nigel Farage his first beer after Britain left the European Union. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and, and I'm very proud you were both, of it. You were both ecstatic, were you? Yeah, we were. Yeah. Oh, I go, here you go, nice. Put it in his claw. Yeah. He drank it faster than that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>